everyone. I'm Ronnie. And I'm Jessica. And you're listening to Clean With Me. The podcast where we walk you through cleaning your house. Hey everybody, Jessica here. And today we are going to get our house in order. I want you guys to think of the one thing that you've been putting off. And uh, we're going to do things a little bit out of order. So what's the worst room in your house right now? The worst room. Mine typically is always the kitchen, which is why I always start with the kitchen. But the thing that I often get the most backed up on is laundry. So today we're going to focus on uh, talking about laundry and stuff, but we're going to do a kitchen clean and a house clean while we're working on the laundry. But the goal for today for you guys is to tackle that laundry and tips to tackle your laundry. Okay. So first thing I want you guys to do, of course, is get ready for your clean, get ready for the day. And, uh, you know, that means just put something comfy on to clean, light some candles that puts me in the cleaning mood. Um, if you listen, you know, the drill, uh, open up your windows, let some light in, maybe you walk outside. I woke up because I took the kids to school and I got pulled over this morning. Oh, I I've gotten pulled over a lot of times and usually they're really nice about it and stuff because it's nothing major. But this guy was not nice and I definitely got a ticket and I am going to dispute it and I'm not going to rant about it quite yet. I'll rant about it later guys, but for now I'm not going to rant about it because we got to get going on our clean before I start my rants, right? Okay, so um, let's get started on that laundry, do a laundry switch, get those machines going once you're ready for your clean. If you're new here, welcome. We walk you through cleaning your house step by step and I talk a little bit about my life, um, how to get motivated. It's, every episode's different. We put it in the description what it's about. So if it's something that interests you or a certain area of the house you want to tackle, make sure you're looking at the titles and the descriptions and uh, we'll tell you exactly what the episode's about. If you aren't new here, welcome back. Um, If you are, I am a little bit scatterbrained, but there's a method to my madness, so let's get going. Uh, I definitely am here to keep you on track with your cleaning, but um, I do go off on many, many a tangent, so let's get right into it. And I just dropped my microphone if you're wondering what that sound was. So once your machines are running, you've moved your clothes from the washer to the dryer and from the dryer to the laundry basket, Um, we're going to tackle the laundry. So I mentioned in my previous episode, if you guys tuned in, awesome. If you are new here or you didn't listen to the last episode I did, I talked about something a little bit silly. I was talking about something that me and my sister do all the time is we, when we're like bed rotting and we cannot motivate ourselves to clean, we will call each other and say we're having a quote, wave of bad, end quote, and I know that sounds silly and dumb, but I don't even know how we came up with that, but we just did. Anyway, long story short, uh, what that gibberish means is what is the thing that is keeping us from cleaning? Like, what are we stressing about? Because we, she's been diagnosed ADHD. I have not, I've never been to get diagnosed, but I mean, we, we, our brains work the same way. I'm pretty sure I am. I'm not going to say I am because I've never been diagnosed, but anyway, I think the same way. So, uh, I know that if there's usually one thing in my house that's stressing me out that I'm like, I'm beating myself up about not cleaning, but the reason why I'm not cleaning is because it's messy. It's just like a vicious cycle. So, Um, she'll be like, what's, what's that for you? And then I'll be like, okay, what's your reason you're not cleaning? And for me today, the reason that I'm a little bit stressed out is I am behind in my laundry. I have tons of laundry that needs to be folded because I had in the past been really good about folding when it came out of the dryer, but I have a quote, uh, laundry pile of clean clothes right now, which I hate that because what happens is me, the kids, whatever, we're getting ready for school. We start digging through the pile. It never gets put away. It just becomes bigger and bigger and bigger because you're like, oh, there's already a pile. Let's just add to the pile. And it never gets folded and put away. And a lot of stuff, 
gets thrown out, mixed into the dirty, especially if you have kids. So that's the thing that's keeping me from cleaning. So I am going to focus on that. We, like I said, we're still going to clean our kitchen and everything. So once you're done uh, doing your laundry switch, the good thing about laundry is we've got machines that are working, which gives us a certain amount of time. And I like to use that amount of time as a game to see how much I can clean while the machines are running. So yes, today we're going to focus on getting caught up on laundry, but let's do our other stuff too. So kitchen, breakfast mess, lunch mess, getting the kids lunches ready, whatever the case may be, let's go ahead and get this kitchen under control. First thing I want you guys to do is empty, reload, and run your... Um, your dishwasher, uh, making sure we are putting stuff to soak if it's major pans or anything like that that's going to get in the way of our groove, if that's going to throw off our groove, if you will. You know, you got to, uh, if you have some caked on stuff, you don't want to get to it and then just, oh, I'm just going to leave this to soak and then it just stays there forever. So I like to leave my stuff to soak at the beginning. That way, by the time I'm done with all the small stuff, it'll be easy to clean. So let's go ahead and do that. Start pre-rinsing. And I'm going to talk, talk a little more about laundry while you guys are getting your uh, kitchen done while the um, washing machine and dryer are running. Okay, so um, while you guys are doing the dishes and letting the clothes uh, wash, I'm going to basically just give you some tips on how to enjoy the laundry more. So I don't hate the laundry. I have a love-hate relationship. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But this is uh, what I do on the times that I'm actually enjoying the laundry and I don't even realize I'm doing it. This is what I do. So number one is when I am doing my like regular cleaning, like we are doing right now, the dishes and stuff like that. I like to listen to my mom's podcast because it keeps me on track with laundry. You know, you're kind of just sitting there. It's a little bit mundane and stuff. So I like to, and you don't have to think as much there's not a lot of moving around. You're just sitting there. So when I'm doing the laundry, I like to do a secondary thing that distracts me from the laundry, if that makes sense. So I always either, and just be cleaning the kitchen while I'm talking, I always either uh, watch a show that I'm super into. I'll set it up in the living area put all the clothes out and then I will watch my favorite show while I am and then when each episode is done I will do a laundry switch bring some more clothes like I'll have like a marathon of like a show I've been meaning to watch and then I will um when each episode's done I'll put stuff away and do laundry switches come back and do it that way and that way it's kind of like a timer too because usually like one episode is the amount of time it takes for me to fold and um, be ready to put stuff away and also do a laundry switch. So that's one of the biggest ones I do. And you guys kind of already know that I do that because I've talked about that in the past. Another one that I do is FaceTiming um, my, my family, friend, whatever. And I'll just prop the phone up and I'll just FaceTime them. And it, it's just like talking talking to your friend you're just you know you're laughing you're cutting it up you're talking to family friend whoever because a lot of times when I'm on the phone I'm pacing throughout the house anyway and uh it's kind of hard to talk on the phone I still do it but it's kind of hard to talk on the phone when you're doing other things like dishes and stuff like that it's better to listen to a podcast or something like that because usually I get distracted but with laundry you could just prop it up and talk and cut it up with your friend and then before you know it everything's done and uh in this case I would just set a timer on the phone for since there's no tv or show to time and then uh once the timer goes off just be like one second I'm gonna do a laundry switch and then do that also same thing you can have a friend over to help you. Um, that's not always, you know, something that is plausible that can be done because we don't always just have friends at our beck and call that live close that are able to sit there while you do laundry. So FaceTiming is a lot more, um, realistic. And just keep chugging along on those dishes, making sure that we're getting them from around the house as well. 
and uh, not missing anything. That way people don't bring it, bring you stuff later on and fill up your sink right after you do it. Like, you know, lunch, lunch pails, make sure you get lunch pails, any cups or anything from the bedroom, stuff like that. Another thing that makes laundry easier and keeping my drawers and stuff organized easier is very specific piles. So I've noticed that if I put things in one, like I used to do it where I would fold things in family piles. Like this is dad's stuff. This is mom's stuff. This is the kid's stuff, right? But now I do pants for mom, shirts for mom. Like I fold them as they would be put away because otherwise you're tempted to stuff things in places they don't belong. Um, and I still carry them all to the room at the same time. You know, for example, um, hopefully I'm making sense when I say this, but let's say I have a stack of my pants, a stack of my shirts and a stack of my undies or whatever. I'll just pile them on top of each other to carry them into the bedroom and then the top of the pile put my undies away and then I'll put my shirts in the next one as long as they're separated it'll um, go in the drawer easier like that and that way you're not getting unorganized super quickly another laundry tip uh, while you guys are finishing up your dishes is limiting what you own okay so if you're doing the laundry and I mean, everybody has this happen. If they're, if you're doing the laundry and it's winter time and you're seeing bathing suits or you're seeing, um, you know, winter clothes in the summer and they just keep ending up in the laundry basket, jackets, whatever. And you're like, where, where are these coming from? Why do I keep washing these, these items? Every time you find an item like that, put it in a pile, fold them and then put them up because, my kids do somehow find these items that are out of season or just random playing dress up or whatever. So, and they always just end up back in the wash in the washroom and then I'm just like washing them over and over again. So, if that's the case, make sure as we're finding those things, we're putting them up. And that'll limit the amount of laundry you're doing because no one likes rewashing things and same thing goes for putting things away right after they come out of the dryer folding and putting away um I know that seems like a common sense thing and you may be thinking yeah I would love to do that Jessica but I just don't it just takes time to form the habit and I still mess up sometimes and the key is not to beat yourself up when you do mess up because it's something that happens it's something that you know, no one's perfect, but the best thing we can do is the next time is fold catch up. And then the next time you do the laundry, uh, you make sure that you're folding it and putting away and making it fun and doing one of the secondary distraction tasks. Um, I don't like some people, I like to listen to music and stuff when I'm cleaning, if I'm not listening to a podcast, but that doesn't really work for me when I'm doing at least not for me because my brain's all over the place. It's not enough stimulation for me to do the laundry. I need to be watching something or talking to someone actively. That's just me personally. And this step, same same basic concept, but basically you find stuff that doesn't fit too small. You you're, don't like it. You don't know why it's in the dirty clothes. You're, it's not something you typically wear. Maybe you have too many of it. Maybe it got ruined in the wash. There's a hole in it. You don't need 80 t-shirts with holes in it for bed or, you know, stains on it. Yeah, you might need one or two for hair dye days or sleeping in, but you don't need a lot. Just kind of limit those sort of things. And something else I want you guys to um, think about is some ways I made laundry easier uh, socks always disappear always. So I now, every time I buy socks, I always buy the same color for each family member. It just makes it way easier when you're sorting socks. Um, and helps you to keep them together because if you lose a couple socks, they're all the same color anyway. I've also mentioned this before, but I have a little box above my washer and dryer and I bring it with me whenever I do my clothes folding and stuff. And then if there's any mismatched ones, I put it into the box and then at the end of the week or the month, uh, depends on how many I'm finding. 
unmatched socks, I will go through and sort them out. And the ones that don't have mates at the end of the month, I throw out. And another thing that I try to do to keep up is I always try to make it a habit to no matter what, that's why I always say do a load of laundry before you start your cleaning session. I always try to do a load of laundry once a day at least, no matter how I'm feeling. And that includes putting, folding and putting away. So try your best to do one load of laundry no matter what it is, whether it's towels, um, a blanket, whatever. Just try to do one load a day, put away and um, fold and don't count it as being done unless you do all three steps. That way you're not accumulating a big laundry pile. And if you do all these steps, you definitely are not going to dread the laundry as much because I think what we dread is when we get behind and we have this huge giant pile of laundry. If you just have this one tiny load that you're just folding and putting away and it takes all of what, five, five, ten minutes at the most, even if, you know, it's a big load, um, then it's not going to be this daunting task that stresses us out every time. So those are some things I wanted to leave you guys with. Um, some tips and tricks. Also, I like to have, um, I have a lot of laundry baskets in my house and I have one for all like close to each bathroom and each major room, like my kid's room, my room. And, uh, once a day at the end of the day, when I'm doing my bedtime routine stuff, I will just consolidate all of it into the laundry basket in the laundry room. Um, because we wash everything together anyway, but that's just so people aren't throwing things on the floor. That's just something I like to do personally, but hopefully you got those dishes done and hopefully you got some motivation to tackle that laundry. If you guys are super behind like me on laundry today, I want you guys to tackle it, make it fun. Like I said, um, FaceTime someone, watch your favorite show and in between, um, episodes, pause do your uh, routine, put everything away, start a new load, and then you get to have a nice little um, marathon of your favorite show, and you get something done at the same time, so you're being productive. And it doesn't have to be today. It could be whenever you have a day off or a few hours to yourself and you know Rome wasn't built in a day you don't if you have if you're super super behind just get like three or four loads done you know as many as you can in the moment and then you can continue but even if you're super behind and you're like well I'm behind right now but I don't have time right now well at least do that one load and to completion meaning whatever load is in the actual washer let's go ahead and fold and put it away that way we're not adding to the pile because I know if I'm behind and I do an extra load of laundry, I'm tempted to just add it to the pile as well, but just fold the one that's in the dryer right now. Go ahead and check the dryer and do a laundry switch. It may not be quite done yet, um, but if it's not, set a timer, watch a show, get it done. Um, Go ahead and finish your kitchen. If you are still maintenance cleaning your kitchen, do a thorough wipe down and sweep, and anyway, I hope you guys uh, get a lot of laundry done today. I hope I helped you a little bit with motivation, and as always, happy cleaning.